Hello again! As I said in this video, I want to address the negative responses I have received to my video on civil rights. This is not directed to any particular user, but rather a general response to all the arguments against homosexuality that I received both in text messages and video replies. So let's get to it! One of the most common and ridiculous arguments is that homosexuality is unnatural. And when you start to explain that it is natural because you find it in nature, the counter-argument comes in this form. But homosexuality is unnatural. Yes, animals can be gay, but animals are stupid. <laughs> this makes perfect sense. Huh? And then they go on like this. If you think homosexuality is natural, then you should also do what animals do, like eat your own baby and lick your own poo. Yeah, I know. Huh? So when you say unnatural, you're not actually referring to something that is not typically found in nature, but you are rather talking about human nature, what is natural to humans, right? So how do you judge this? By what standards? Do you have recordings of people eating their babies and licking their poo throughout history? Well, that means that it's not normal for people to do stuff like that, because they don't do it. But how about homosexual behavior? It existed in both uncivilized and civilized societies in all the historical times that we know of. So that means, yes, it's freaking normal for people to be gay. And even if you don't want to admit that homosexual behavior is in human nature, you still cannot prove that it's wrong. For instance, it's not natural for humans to fly. And yet we have airplanes, and nobody says they are wrong. On the other hand, things like rape and murder are clearly in human nature, and that doesn't make them right. So natural doesn't equal right, and unnatural doesn't equal wrong. If you want to know what I think, I consider natural everything that is subjected to the laws of physics, to the laws of the universe. For instance, it would be unnatural for a person to die and rise from the dead three days afterwards. Homosexuality is a choice. There is no gay gene. Anyone who has a clue about genetics knows that there cannot be such a thing as a gay gene. That's impossible. If homosexuality has to do with genetics, then it must be a polygenic trait. That means lots and lots and lots of genes interacting in a very complex process. This is not an easy thing to study, and for sure it is not an easy thing to determine. So no, so far, until now, there is no general agreement among the scientists about the reasons behind any sexual orientation. But this doesn't change the fact that we do not willingly choose our sexual orientation. We don't! Living a gay lifestyle may be a choice, but not the sexual orientation in itself. Let's get into this. It is true that even if you feel attraction for the same sex, you can choose not to act on it, you can choose to restrain yourself. But why do that? Why deny yourself the right to love and be happy? So living a gay lifestyle is a choice. And this doesn't prove it's wrong. Just like it's not wrong to live a straight lifestyle. Because that's also a choice, you know. But they already have equal rights. All men can marry women and all women can marry men. Gay people only want extra rights. That's such a cheap-ass lie. And you know it. If you can marry only people of the opposite sex, this means that if you are straight, you can marry the person you love. If you are gay, you cannot. As for the extra rights part, that's such bullshit. I can so easily turn this around and say that if gay marriage is legal, then anyone can marry people of the opposite sex and of the same sex. That means including you. So who the hell has extra rights? And how about adoptions? As for discrimination, how many gay people you know in the politics? How about the medical field? Or education. Let's be honest here. Homosexuality is wrong because God says so. Pound. I will not even get into a Bible debate now, because there is no point. So let's just assume that the Bible says that homosexuality is a sin. So fucking what? First of all, not everybody shares your religious beliefs. Not everybody has the same God as you do, if any. There is a little something called separation between church and state, and you cannot base a law on your own personal beliefs. Gay people cannot have babies. How the hell is this a valid argument? Is the human race facing extinction? Last time I checked, we were 6.5 billions and going on 11 billions by 2050. And besides that, would you prohibit straight, infertile couples to get married? Or people who just don't want to have babies. That's just ridiculous. You 
are forgetting about the very definition of what marriage is. It should be between a man and a woman. It's in the constitution. So what? We'll just change the definition. There was a time when your marriage was not legally recognized if you were a slave. There was a time when interracial marriage wasn't a legal option. Marriage has been redefined plenty of times throughout history. And this is another time when we need, and we will, redefine it. If we allow gay marriage now, what's next? And here they go on with the list. I'm not even gonna address pedophilia or bestiality again here. If you can't understand the notion of consent and you put homosexuality in the same category with sexual abuse, there is something profoundly broken in your brain. As for marrying more than one people, like I said in my other video, if it's consensual, I don't care how many husbands or how many wives you have. But let's get into the incest part a little, because I've heard this so-called argument. What if I have a vasectomy? Would it then be okay to form a couple with my mother, since we can't have kids together? I just find it pathetic when the religious people bring on this argument, when according to the Bible the very foundation of humankind is incest. You know, in the beginning there was only Adam and Eve. Back in the days everybody was banging their own mother and father and sister and brother. So even if incest was later on prohibited and condemned, According to your Bible, this is not something fundamentally morally wrong. I mean, just think about how Christians justify this. They say incest was acceptable because Adam and Eve were genetically perfect. Which is a pile of crap, of course, but that's beside the point. So incest was A-OK -okay because there was no danger of malformation or birth defects. Just stop bringing this on because you shoot yourself in the foot. I tell my children when they will see married gay couples. Well, how about something like this? Mom, how come Mr. Matthew and Mr. Paul are getting married? Well, honey, that's because they love each other and they want to spend their lives together. Some men can love other men and some women can love other women, just like mommy and daddy love each other. Now eat your cereals. I will end this now because it's getting frustrating. No matter what argument you're trying to bring, all you're left with at the end of the day is this. I don't like what these people do, therefore they should not have the same legal rights as I do. Just be honest to yourself and think about how fair is that. Wait, wait, before I finish, I really feel like I have to thank you again. I don't know what's going on, but you are rating me like mad. My last video got on the top rated list one hour after I posted it. I mean, I was refreshing the page and I was like, oh my god, what's going on? What are you doing? I don't know, but it's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks again. Bye. Okay.